for thousands of years, people spent a lot of time making their clothing. In the modern world, that isn't necessary, but making your own clothing from scratch is very fulfilling. Knitters often call this going from sheep to shawl. There are two major steps in going from sheep to shawl. The first is taking the animal fiber and spinning them into yarn. The second is taking that yarn and making it into clothing. That second step is pretty easy since every craft store has knitting needles and the internet is full of free tutorials on knitting everything from socks to sweaters to hats. However, the first step of spinning the yarn is more difficult. The cheapest and oldest way to spin yarn is a drop spindle, but using one is slow and difficult. Humanity greatly improved on the drop spindle over a thousand years ago when they invented the spinning wheel. The issue with spinning wheels is they cost many hundreds of dollars. So the problem I set out to solve was how in this modern age can I help more people spin yarn so they can feel the pride of making clothing from scratch. What I came up with is the electric eel wheel mini. The electric eel wheel mini is a very affordable electric spinning wheel. It is easy to use because the motor handles twisting the fiber and putting the yarn on a bobbin. All you need to do is focus on feeding the fiber to the wheel. This adjustable speed control means you can set it to a slow speed while learning and then a fast speed once you are more comfortable with spinning. Another feature is the tension band. This allows you to control how much twist the yarn has. Those are all the major controls in a full-sized spinning wheel and with this mini wheel you get them at a fraction of the cost. As an added bonus this cute mini sized wheel takes up a lot less space and is great for traveling. So do you want to try out spinning so you can make your own mittens or shawl from scratch? Maybe you have a friend or family member you'd like to teach spinning to or perhaps you just want to add a travel friendly spinning wheel to your collection. That was a good one. The year is 2017. After finally concluding that the word swag is on the way out, mankind turns its attention to an even larger problem, one that has been looming on the horizon for decades. Thousands of computer users have been afflicted with the inefficiency of constantly switching between using the keyboard and the mouse. It was out of control. I mean, uh, so much time was being wasted. Uh, I mean, uh, we estimate that the time uh, that it took to move from the mouse to the keyboard uh, could have effectively powered a small outpost on the moon for 38 minutes. <laughs> Heroes from research centers around the country attempted to circumvent the problem using a variety of creative techniques. For one reason or another, however, impracticality, unfamiliarity, all were doomed to failure. Some of the ideas that came out of this time period were revolutionary, but what we needed was someone who could tie them all together. Uh, and that's where Dr. Burkhausen came in, and that's when dichotomy started. Dichotomy was advertised as an elegant weapon for a more civilized age. Each half moved independently and functioned as both a keyboard and a mouse, eliminating the need to switch between the two ever again. When asked how it worked, the inventor wrote, 
Dichotomy functions using a carefully aligned kyber crystal in conjunction with the force to enable a perfectly synchronized energetic connection. Critics argued that he was merely describing a lightsaber, to which he responded, shut up, they're basically the same thing. A new age had dawned for mankind through the visionary efforts of Dr. Joshua Brookhausen, an engineer who called himself a doctor because, in his own words, did you know that you can just buy a lab coat? Uh, Dr. Brookhausen was a revolutionary, but it's not like dichotomy just came together overnight. <laughs> there, there was a, a, a protracted uh, prototyping period where he pulled uh, all the best ideas uh, together. The idea of attaching the mouse to the keyboard came early on, but it took time to refine. Uh, e even though other innovators had similar ideas, Dr. Brookhausen was the first to combine the two technologies in a way that felt comfortable and familiar for users. And he really uh, set himself up for the success by designing Dichotomy in such a way that it was easy and fast to produce. I mean, if you look at one of the first prototypes, uh, you can see it, it, it's, it's got no curved surfaces, no custom components. I mean, he was just working with what he had. Eventually, Dr. Brookhausen started offering Dichotomy through a crowdfunding website called Kickstarter, using this very documentary to raise funds for a production run. It's interesting. Uh, you see, as I've been compiling a detailed chronology of dichotomy, the timeline at this point gets really convoluted. It seems Dr. Brookhausen, in order to uh, engage viewers more with his Kickstarter video, tried to insert a self-referencing uh, uh, joke that somehow included time travel, and it really just wasn't that funny. Uh, most scholars of the time period uh, but that, 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 that's really just me. Um, but anyway, uh, most scholars of the time period attribute this to the fact that while Dr. Brookhausen was a formidable engineer, he did not have a made-up degree in advertising. Fearing backlash from not including a lot of technical details in his Kickstarter video, Dr. Brookhausen compiled them in text form lower down on the Kickstarter page, so all the people watching who wanted to use a different key layout or needed to know exactly what type of mechanical switches were available could find out. Today, Joshua's Kickstarter is still live, indicating that this documentary may have been created prematurely. He needed your help to fund Dichotomy, or needs your help. Or maybe sometime in the future will need your help. We're not sure anymore, as we took the time travel joke way too far. But regardless, Dr. Brookhausen needs your help so that he can make a whole bunch of these things and sell them to people. Please give him money. Please.